Okay, I'm on my way to a grocery store. It's not near my home. I've found troubles over the years with the ones nearest to my home. Why, I don't know. Well, I, I know why I find it. Like one of them, you know, I was doing this delivery thing, you know, to shop and pay one, and, uh, and Adam and I went, and it was uh, the first thing that we had that day. And it was, you know, I'm doing these delivery things. He's not. He works from home. He's an electrical engineer and a computer scientist. But he likes to go out an evening night with me. Anyway, I was doing one, and it was the first one, and it was like, okay, I can do this. It's right down the road there, right where I was near. And pretty much everything on it, they either didn't have it, and it wasn't that big. It was like 11 items or something. They either had it or it was expired. And they only had like one, I think it was had one. They needed two. The others were expired. And uh, th that one was about to expire. You know, this kind of thing. And some of the stuff, they didn't have at all. So I just canceled it. And, but, yeah, I'd had, I had um, been to that grocery store before. And I had experience the thing of something being expired. So nah, uh -uh, not, that's not one I shop at myself. And uh, the other one, there's, <laughs> I just find their, their prices for some things just outrageous. It's like, no, really? You think somebody's going to pay for that? Um, you know, this price gouging stuff is still going on and there are other stores around they don't charge that much as that does that particular store. And I used to shop there for years. And there are two of them. And one of the other one has that odor that, nope, and I've reported it more than once. And I reported the same guy. He has an accent similar to where I grew up. So I know it was him. <laughs> it was the manager. And he said, I've never heard that before. Yeah, you had, mister. And you heard it from me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time I get in my SUV, man, seriously, I lose, start losing my voice. But anyway, we um, anyway the, the maid we the maids they they come in too. Um, this one she is the owner of it, and she can she uh, has you know her favorite I guess <laughs> her favorite second I don't know, and uh, so they were there plus they. they they use a lot of chemicals, and I have chemical allergies, so I know they can do it without it, but uh, it doesn't get as clean. But I was showing them this morning, and it's, it's kind of awkward to me, uh, first of all, having a maid, and, um, you know, maid service. And uh, although we've had them on and off for years now, uh, but I'm not used to telling somebody how to clean my house. <laughs> I don't tell her how to, I tell her what needs to be focused on. Well, today I did. And then she told me, she said they had focused, you know, that the other woman had focused on that, but it didn't come clean. I'm thinking, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, but um, I said, do you know how to do your job? So she said, yeah, I have plenty of experience. So I'll see, I'm, I want to see if she, if she gets it clean. As for me, I mean, I'm, I went to the doctor, saw, I mean, went to, I actually saw a nurse and a doctor yesterday at the same place, so they both had bunches to say, and I should be, you know, basically, I do have that, edema. I never can pronounce that because I didn't hear it from the start, <laughs> edema, edema, I can say edema, and uh, swelling feet, legs, all that going on, and I'm going to be doing a sonogram of them soon but uh, see, and I, I don't want to do so much of this uh, delivery stuff because that's where my feet and legs and everything are just in one position and while I'm driving that driving part of it the walking part of it seems to be good and I've had that confirmed so uh, by the, it was a nurse practitioner and uh, that's good for it but the sitting and sitting down, not good for it with my rare health conditions, especially that deals with the, the back of my uh, 
legs. So, but anyway, boy, I'm going down just rambling here. I'm going to a different one. This is a different store. I, I went here just, I've been to it before, and I went to it just the other day. And I like some of the stuff they would have for salad. I ate a salad or two a day. And those are my main meals. <laughs> salad. Seriously. And uh, I need to buy more salad stuff for a variety. So. But anyway, where else? Where else? Well, I'm talking about that. I took a different road with it. Yeah, like I was, I was talking about the maid service, and I was telling her, and I wanted, I, I told them to the, the, where I wanted them to start. The reason I wanted them to start there was because, so it was in the a master bedroom because where I was myself um, was far from there, and I didn't want all that smell. You know, I had, you know, those allergies to fragrances and, and these strong chemicals. But, they st but the other one started there, and I was in the room telling the, the owner how to, how to do it, you know, where to start. I was like, great, you know. I think the reason I'm coughing now is because she had sprayed something with bleach, which I'm allergic to bleach. And I, this is my fault. I, it's my bad for not saying, please don't put any bleach anywhere. Bleach is the worst to me. But it, I think it's, um, it's a bathroom cleaner that has bleach in it. And uh, I went into that room it's the, uh, before I left. It was it's the half bath. And it was like, oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's so strong. And I think that just that little bit. But as it is, anyway, I have to go somewhere. I don't know who is trying to call me. I have an 888 number. Well, you're not getting through. I don't know you. You don't get through. But um, anyway. So... I'm going to have to go somewhere anyway today, which I don't want to do. You know, because for a while, while the house is airing out, uh, I can't be there. It really, this, this stuff can kill me. And it's so strong. We'll see. Anyway, it is good that I have something I can do, somewhere I can go. Uh, what's that? It's all this. That was the, I have a weird thing with the break here. And it, it, every once in a while we'll go crunch. Yeah, the break. The break. Uh, anyway, it's good that I have somewhere I can go and something I can do, you know, while all this stuff is uh, happening, like right now, going to the grocery store. But also I could go and do some deliveries if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Uh, like I said, I saw the doctor yesterday. My feet were swollen as usual. Uh, well, they've gone down quite a bit, and she said that it's not very swollen. Um, as it had been, I mean, she didn't know. She was a new doctor to me, but I could tell from the podiatrist I actually saw him. That's, an, that's another story in and of itself. I don't think so. I, I'm not here on this planet for these doctors and stuff to run all kinds of tests so they can make all this money off of a new shiny insurance card, health insurance card. I'm not here for that purpose. I'm here for what I need them to focus on, you know, and, and not them making money. I want to go in there. Okay, by the way, I do want to say why I said that. Because I experienced it. Seriously. I just got the entrance uh, August 1st. Right off the bat, I experienced that. And it was, I saw a nurse practitioner. She said she was going to run some blood work. Which I told her, I just got blood work done in the hospital ER. And she, she had this sneaky little look on her face. She said, yeah, I could probably see what they've done, but... Um, and then, you know, she ordered a whole bunch of them. She didn't look at it. She didn't look at it at all. The ones I just had none in July. I mean, this was, you know, actually it was at the end of August, early September. No, 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 no. She wasn't going to use those because she apparently, either she gets brownie points or she actually earns something off it. But it was the whole, just a visit with her, the first visit, just a visit. And these blood tests were right at $900 charged to my um, insurance card but then they, they sent me a bill online or showing that I might be responsible for like 300 and something of it so I experienced this right off the bat and it was a mess because the, her, the staff was rude to me after that and I've been through medical cherry picking medical 
lemon dropping is what they call it combined um, because of my rare health condition and I've been through it before that's what exactly what they do they get the front staff to be rude to me so then I say screw it and that's which which is what I did screw you <laughs> say screw you you know I fired them I told the, the corporate office the whole story and then I said and I fired them because they didn't seem to understand anything else like do not call me they kept calling me repeatedly that day seriously it was unbelievable it was like I'm dealing with a bunch of adults mean girls you know children and then I don't want to even insult children there were adults acting like this that they were going to show me that they could call me anytime they wanted to it was so re weird so I fired them <laughs> they didn't understand anything else I told their office manager who was yelling over me talking over me I mean so unprofessional lacking professionalism and uh I told her, I said, you know what? You're all fired. <laughs> Something like that. I, I'm not dealing with this crap. It was crap. I'm a 60-year-old woman. I, you know, really. And I didn't mean to, talk, to vent about all that again. Anyway, I'm going to go in, buy some groceries, chill out. You know, and i got to go home. And I probably will have to go out and leave again. And I was talking about, you know, at least I have some place to go. So I can go and do these deliveries and... It's actually very relaxing for me, believe it or not, doing that. You know, the reason I did, you know, it all started out was because I need health insurance. And in order to get affordable health care insurance here in Texas, I would have to prove that I made a certain amount of money um, I could each year. You know, so that's why I did this because of my feet and all that. I could go, you know, I work as an independent contractor. I work whenever, however long I want to work. And, uh, and if I need to go home, I go home. If you work a regular job, nine to five job, they're not gonna let you go home, you know, cause my swelling in my feet and all that. Mm -mm. So this is working fine for me. But there's more to the story. I'll, I'll do that, maybe another video. Okay, I went in there and did a lot of shopping, bought a bunch of groceries. I don't even know how much it was. <laughs> But, I mean, not a whole lot, really. But I took my time and got out. And the guy that was in the young man in a uh, in a car, I think it was a car, in front of me that had parked in front of me was still sitting there. He, I don't know. That was kind of strange. It was, I don't remember what they call those cars. It's the one with the crest, I think, on it that has three flags. Are they flags? I've never really paid that much attention to it. So, anyway, that was a quite a long while, maybe an hour, and he's still sitting, just sitting there. I don't know, some people live in their car these days. I know that. I feel for them. Some people want to, it seems like, like an SUV or something. I don't know how a person could. Somebody like me, probably be like impossible. I better not say that to jinx myself. I don't believe in jinxes, but um, yeah, I guess it would be. I guess I could, but mine's pretty long. Really long. Anyway, why am I on this subject besides the well there's that guy? Anyway, I think I need to probably stop and get something to eat. We usually go to, um, what's it called, Burger King. I usually go to Burger King. That's what he wants. He likes it every time to go to Burger King and buy hamburgers. Last time it was 55 bucks for the four of us, the two, the two maids and Adam and I. 54 bucks. So, I don't know. I don't even remember what I got. I think it was just four burgers and maybe it was the three combos. I don't eat the french fries myself. I don't even eat the buns. So, what else could I do? It's not. It's on this road, not way over there. I, where I'd have to go for Burger King is not anywhere near. So, let me see what else is in here. I know there's a sandwich place. Okay, <clears throat> just 
again, losing my voice. Not until I get in my SUV. What is it in here? Really? Okay, I'm kind of turned around. Hopefully nobody comes in. And... Here we go. All right, yeah, I went to Wendy's. It was right there. <laughs> like, ta-da! I don't come out here much, so. I went and bought the groceries. It's a Tom, Tom Thumb. And uh, I, am, I bought some onions that were chopped up. And, oh, are they smelling? <laughs> you would think that they wouldn't smell so strong, but my SUV smells like chopped up onions. You know, diced onions. Why do I say chopped up? I don't know. And, uh, but diced. As long as I've been a homemaker, you would think. But, you know, I was talking about all this. Now, being a homemaker for so many years, I hadn't worked and everything. But because of my health condition also, you know, going, starting back to work and walking a lot, like, it was, it surprised me how much. But my health condition itself, the back of my legs, the, the muscles atrophy. And um, they're just not strong. So I'm trying to build those up too, and some days I, my legs will just feel so weak. And then add on to it that I have this swelling, which the, the doctor I saw yesterday, she said, no, it's, it's part of your condition. Uh, it's happening like this, so. Yeah, one thing after another. The feet swollen, all that, but I had, so I didn't work yesterday. I didn't want to work today, but, you know, we had the maid service, so I might not. It just depends on how, how bad the house smells with all the chemicals and everything. If I can, you know, we're going to have the, the back window open, so maybe there'll be some airflow. I don't know. There's no front air window open. I guess I could open one of them. I don't know. I don't even know if they even open anymore, <laughs> so we never open them. Seriously. They just sit there, year after year, not being opened. You would think that they wouldn't be broken, but you never know. I know one of them we open and uh, just falls right down. Okay. But, anyway, I'm kind of rambling. Okay, I guess I could mention this on, uh, I was supposed to have an appointment today with another, it's a pro that was an urgent care. Tomorrow. Today was supposed to be a primary care, but Adam couldn't go with me. I want him to go with me because I had pr problems at that place before the last time. And, and I think the woman had to, or maybe they forced her to, retire because she kept forgetting things. And she forgot a, f a few things, you know, considering me and trying to explain it to this one young woman that was an MA and she had elevated herself to that as a status and as if she were a uh, nurse or a doctor and it was bad I mean I had to call their office manager because I think the woman yeah I mean, I'll leave out what I think but she was not making any sense she was talking some gibberish and everything and, uh, and I don't know if that's if she's still working there if she's the one who actually answered the phone they should have gotten rid of her <laughs> really because she she did a lot of bad things. And there's usually at least that one, you know what I'm saying? I don't want Adam to go with me. I prefer if Adam goes with me to any doctor's uh, because of all this medical cherry picking and medical lemon dropping. They just feel free to be rude to me. And when he's there, no, they don't do that because it's a witness, you know? <laughs> so that's what, run, squirrel, run! hit by anybody, okay? You're, you're going crazy over here. I'm going to move so you don't get hit. There was a, did you see the squirrel running across the street? That's a big street. Squirrel, don't do it. But anyway. <sighs> so, you know what? I think I'll just wrap this up. Unless I have something else I'm thinking about. But I wanted to do a few more vlogs. Today, I usually when I go out to, later today, I'm probably going to do something and you know a vlog or something because on my way to wherever I'm going and the you know when I go like right here is Plano I think and then right north of me is Allen. These 
Eastern Texas, uh, northern suburbs, uh, northern and northeastern, north to north, northeast of Dallas. My goodness, can I get this out? And I, that's what I usually do is the north and the northeast of Dallas suburbs of Dallas. And the other one is the northeastern one more is Murphy. Murphy and Wiley, but I don't like to go out in Wiley. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Like I said, it just depends on uh, how it smells and all those chemicals. And, uh, I think I'm going to go home and try to open the windows with some airflow in there. But they had started in the rooms that I use and I was trying, like I said, trying to get them to start the other rooms. But the last time he had told them to start in those rooms because I had told him that's where they need to start. So they just listen to him. Don't like that. Hey, I exist. Yeah, it's my home too. You know? Anyway, I know some things should not be like this. It's too bad. Some things are. Talk to y'all another video.